quarter was insane. Josh Kitty's a dog, and it was a crazy third quarter. So I'm got commented on our last Thunder skit, like Giddy did not have a good last month, and it was, it was like, it was like 16, 9, and six or something like that on great shooting. Baisley. Darius Baisley's on his way out, but I wanted to put this get this on. Josh Giddy and Shea can play with each other, but then you know who's in second place for Rookie of the Year right now? Jalen Williams. Dude, that guy's ridiculous. Was it actually? Yeah, dude, he's been insane. What? It's him Damn, and Benedict. This rookie Matt, class, bro. people are talking about how disappointing this rookie class has been at times this year with the rookies. I think it was just this rookie class, like outside of the top Everyone's three guys. Outside of the top three guys, there's a crapshoot. And everyone's injured, though. Yeah. I just thought it. Jamari it's just got hurt last night. Do you, I'm on the thought that the Oklahoma City Thunder, Pat, once the trade deadline passes and they trade Darius Baisley, they... Yeah, that'll, they'll lose some games because they turned to Darius Baisley. No, but they'll start sitting, guys. Why? But why does the uh, Darius Baisley... Oh, because they only have one first-round pick next offseason, and they've talked about wanting to bring in a veteran on a max contract to lead but, this... And the, they... Was, Darius Baisley, by multiple beat writers of the of the Thunder, have suggested that the Oklahoma City Thunder are taking calls for Darius Baisley because they intend to let him walk in restricted free agency. They just have too many players, and with like their picks and stuff, that they're going to start because they're they kind of, from what I've been told, is they know their core already. Mm-hmm. Like their core is is set with I mean, Josh. Hmm. They should probably play Baisley if they uh, if they plan on trading him away. Or I guess, yeah, they're one game below 500, so. Yeah, like their core right chance. now, Jalen Williams, Lou Dort, Kenrich Williams, Josh Giddy, Shea, Chet right there. And then that right there, you got six guys. Aaron Wiggins and Isaiah Joe are two guys that they'd like to keep around. Same thing with Trey Mann, Jalen Williams, and Mike Muscala. Right there, if you have those guys, that's already – like 11 guys and then you have a few other dairy and it's just Darius basically just doesn't fit you know but yeah, the thunder team is is good and I, I don't I, I agree with a lot of these guys i don't know if they're not i don't think they're gonna tank anymore man or game below 500 i know but like but they're on the rise as opposed to like a utah and indiana who have been more downhill after hot starts i mean that, that those are valid points so mm, i guess we still have a month a month of all star breaks, we'll see which guys, by the way, the like button hit that sub button. We're trying to hit 2,000 subs by the all star break. Yeah, yeah Shay's a rising superstar. Um, Josh Giddy's having a phenomenal year. And once you get Chet back, and especially if they have like another top pick, which it doesn't look great right now, so they're like getting below 500. They're once they fill out the rest of their roster with their with their these vets, um, it's gonna be a really interesting. Uh, Run. All righty. 